Tonight on Documentify TV, in 2010, fishermen dredging their nets in the waters between Taiwan and China pulled up something unexpected in their nets. Not a fish, but a piece of human history, an ancient jawbone from the sea floor. For years, scientists wondered who did this jawbone belong to? Now, we finally have the answer. This isn't just any old bone. This jawbone, called Penghu-1 by scientists, has completely changed what we know about our ancient human relatives. Let me take you back in time. Thousands of years ago, this water wasn't here. The sea level was much lower. Instead of water, there was land, a bridge connecting China to Taiwan. Animals could walk across it. People could, too. The jawbone found in these waters belongs to a mysterious group of ancient humans called Denisovans. If you've never heard of Denisovans, you're not alone. We only discovered they existed back in 2010, when scientists found a few small bone fragments in a cave in Siberia, thousands of miles from here. So who were these Denisovans? They weren't modern humans like us, and they weren't Neanderthals either. They were a completely different branch of the human family tree that lived alongside our ancestors. For years, scientists had a big question. If Denisovans lived in cold Siberia, why do people in warm places like the Philippines and Papua New Guinea have Denisovan DNA in their bodies today? It didn't make sense. This jawbone gives us the answer. Denisovans weren't just in cold Siberia. They were also here, in the warm waters near Taiwan. They could live in all sorts of places, cold mountains, high plateaus, and warm coastlines. These people were survivors, able to adapt to different environments. But how do scientists know this jawbone is from a Denisovan? They couldn't get DNA from it. DNA breaks down in warm, wet places. Instead, they used something called Paleoproteomics. That's a fancy word that means studying ancient proteins. Proteins last longer than DNA. The scientists found proteins in this jawbone that only Denisovans had. It was like finding a fingerprint. This discovery tells us something important. When this land bridge existed, at least three different kinds of humans may have lived in Asia at the same time. Modern humans like us, Neanderthals and Denisovans, and sometimes they had children together. We know this because many people living today in this part of the world have Denisovan DNA in their bodies. It's like carrying a piece of these ancient people with you. The scientists who studied this jawbone think it's between 190,000 and 10,000 years old. That means Denisovans might have lived here much more recently than we thought, possibly even at the same time modern humans arrived in the area. So why does this matter? This single jawbone from the seafloor is changing the story of human history. It shows us that these mysterious Denisovans weren't just living in one cold cave in Siberia. They were spread across Asia, adapting to all kinds of different places. The land bridge where this Denisovan man once walked is now underwater. The world he knew is gone. But his jawbone, preserved for thousands of years under the sea, is helping us solve one of the biggest mysteries in human history. What happened to the Denisovans? They didn't just disappear. Their blood still flows in people today. They became part of us. Thanks for joining us tonight. It means a lot to us. Until then, folks, see you next time right here on Documentify TV.